And recording. Three, two, one. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. If you're new to the channel, let's go Oilers, baby. They freaking advanced. They did it. They did it. They're on to the next round. We gotta, we gotta keep calm and composed. If you're new to the channel, we're talking about, we're talking about a lot this episode, but we're talking primarily about Evan Bouchard. So stay to the end. This is gonna be a very fun video. And starting today, starting today, you know, I, oh, I have so much to talk about. This is just gonna be a kind of all over the place intro. I've been sick lately, so I haven't, I didn't record like all week last week. Primarily why my voice sounds like this, but also I was partying hard yesterday. Let's go But uh, yeah starting every episode as of today now. Let's go smelling salts there in. I'm gonna do a Woo to get the boys going. So let's just hop right into this apparently you gotta shake it. Okay, so wake me up Whoa Oh, oh Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, sweet mother Jesus, that feels great. Okay, you're awake now. That's legit. This is what Ryan Reeves was popping off the other day. Let's go, smelling salts, you can get them at your local Amazon. Anyway, okay, holy crap. Boys, we freaking did it, let's go. That is so sick, the Oilers advanced. I cannot believe it. What a what an unbelievable game that was. Um, you know, lots of, it was like this, like the Oilers season, roller coaster, you know. But, oh my gosh, we finally pulled through. Kyler Yamamoto, he comes up clutch. He gets the game-winning goal, baby. Let's go. High blocker. You already know what it is. So, that was sweet. I, I'm kind of, man, This it was just insane. So, I'm not from Edmonton, but just being downtown, like, just, I remember last year, um, you know, I was still back home in Lethbridge after an Oilers win in the playoffs. So, I'd be like, oh, like, I wonder what Edmonton was like right now. Um, and I mean, I got to live it last night and it was unreal. Edmonton, you were undefeated. Let's go. That was, that was unmatched. It was so sweet. The horns honking. It was, it was crazy. It was really fun. Um, you couldn't even get to the moss pit. It was fudge packed. So it was insane. We, we came out like us Oilers fans. Like, I mean, it was insane. We, it was <laughs> kind of the craziest thing I've ever seen. And I mean, I'm a diehard Oilers fan, right? That's, that's what I live for. I, I never, I, I was like talking to my buddy, my roommates. I was like, I've never seen this many Oilers fans. Everywhere you look, Oilers fans, Oilers fans, Oilers jerseys, this, your vehicles just honking their horns. It was the craziest thing. And I am I was so thankful and blessed to be a part of that. That was awesome. So without other the way, we're the Oilers won. Yes, we're on to the next round. But I'm primarily talking about one individual, one Oiler who stood tall this series, who just I mean, really, this is the, the player that I thought we were going to see at the get-go of the season. Obviously, it wasn't, but man, he's here now, and that's what matters. Evan freaking Bouchard, baby. He is looking so good right now. So, it was a little over, it wasn't quite a year ago, one of like the first videos I did on this channel that kind of actually took off. I think it was like this Bouchard video I did, like the next Shea Weber, or whatever. And I got a lot of heat. People like, oh, he won't never be no Shea Weber. He won't ever be this. He won't ever... Man, but you know what? <laughs> he may not have the physical aspects, but you can't, you can't, man. Boosh was trying to drop the gloves like several times this year. He's got a mean bone in him. He, he will fight. He will fight one day and it could be as early as next round. I'm not even joking. Uh, I, uh, maybe not, maybe in the next season, I should say. But man, Boosh, he's got a mean bone in him. Is it like uh, freaking Shea Weber? No, it's not. But Man, he's looking so good. He currently leads the whole NHL, so whatever teams that are remaining, right? Uh, he, he currently leads all defensemen in league scoring with 10 points. I know, oh, he played five games, whatever. That's he only played five games, whatever. Um, that's still impressive. Two goals, eight assists. Uh, the last Oilers player to ever do that for a defenseman uh, to have this many points in a single series was Paul Coffey. Mm. Anyway, so... Boosh has been lights out, and it's 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 really, you know, he didn't have the season that I, I was expecting him to have. I was expecting him to have, like, 60 points this year. Obviously, it wasn't even close. He didn't score. He had, like, a three-month break between goals. I think he scored in November, and then he didn't score again until, like, March. It was, it was ridiculous. It was not, it was not, but, I mean, he had his chances, and he had his chances, and it just... He got a goal and then it was disallowed once and you know every shot it was so opposite from last year it seemed like last year his seeing eye shot which was very well touted well touted you know that was one of the things that he he had when he was a prospect you know that's what the scouts seen um his shot was just always in the net from the point he had that wicked wrister snapshot kind of thing that he does boom in 
And um, it was getting through last year, and it wasn't getting through at all this whole season. Um, it wasn't until Matthias frickin' Eckholm came in. Since being paired with Eckholm, Boosh had 4 goals, 14 apples, 18 points in just 20 games played. So it's not like this is just playoff Boosh. No, this has been since, you know, trade deadline since the early March, right? And with a plus minus of plus 12. So super respectable, right? Because he wasn't, he wasn't achieving any of those numbers. Um, you know, 18 points in 20 games. That's like, and, he, and now he's got 10 points in freaking. So he's got essentially, so how many games is that? So 20 games played, just played. So 25 games played plus the 18 uh, for the points. I sound like Kenny Holland here with his number thing. Do you want to be at 73, 74 million dollars, 75 or 81.5 less the four? So unless you, if you want to run your team at 70, 76, six, you know, the, the, that's 81.5 less the 4.1. Unless you want to go, you leave all that money out there. Uh, so 28 points. So in his last 25 games, he's got 28 points. Quick math. Let's go. So Boosh has just been unreal. Lights out. His his shot is back. He's finding the net way more consistently. He's looking good. He's joining the rush, man. He's carrying the puck. This is like everything you want to see. Um, this guy was drafted like super high. Remember, uh, 10th overall 2018 NHL draft, right? That's very high value. And he's bringing that value now. Um, I remember there's a lot of talk. Noah Dobson, who's, you know, came into his own right. And that, that's actually awesome to see. I like Noah Dobson a lot. Or Evan Bouchard, it was like, who do we pick? Who do we pick? Which defenseman? You know what? I could not be more happy to see both of these defensemen both turning out for their respective teams. And I could not be more happy. You know, that being said, I could not be more happy to have Evan freaking Bouchard. Dad, call him whatever you want. Man, he is looking so good. And it's it's not just offensive stuff. It's it's the de defensive stuff. He's bringing his... Man, he's he's looked good. Like, he's, like, he's checked so well. There's points where, you know, LA was, you know, trying to, uh, you know, cycle. He disrupts the cycle. And, like, the crowd cheered. The ch they cheered. Everyone was like, let's go, Boosh. Like, that's, that's what you want to see. He's stopping plays. He's looking way better. He's found his confidence. And now he just has to ride his confidence because who knows that, where that will take him, right? This was the first series. Two, two goals. Man, you could have another two goals. You know, I'm just... He's, he's looking so good. And on the power play, the, the Boosh bomb has been released and it's looking so freaking good. So I could not be more happy right now. Um, like I said, he currently leads, uh, you know, all defensemen in scoring with 10 points. You know, there's Kill McCarr in the playoffs. He, you know, he hasn't played. He's missed two games, whatever. Charlie McAvoy, he's played all games. You got freaking Aaron Ekblad. You got Miro Heiskanen, Adam Fox. You know, there's some really good defensemen in, you know, playing still. And, uh, you know, I know points aren't everything, and a lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, sure, like, he's got 10 points, but what about this, what about this? It's like, that's most of it. Like, the offense, people say, oh, offense isn't everything. Well, quite literally, offense is the majority. You want to score more goals than your opponent. And if you're contributing to as many goals as possible, then you're an amazing player. And that's what he's doing, right? Like, it's, it's insane. So, I'm just super happy. Um, you know, I got a lot of heat for that video that I did. Is he going to be the next Shea Weber? I don't know. I don't know. But what I meant by that is like, he's going to be uh, a, that kind of quality of a player. Not saying he's going to be Shea Weber exactly, but he's going to bring the, you know, the offense, the physicality, you know, he's going to bring that leadership maybe in a few years, right? Like this guy is amazing and just a wicked shot. I've said it time and time again, if there's any oiler coming down on like a two on one rush and we've seen it, we've seen it once this time uh, or once this year, he was on a two on one rush. I forget who he was with. And I think it might've been a three on one and uh, he got the pass from someone and he could have overthought it. He could have overthought it, but no, he's like, I see, I see a top corner. I'm going to hit it. And it's like bar down. It's posting in. He always hits the post. To Bouchard. Bouchard moving up. Bouchard. Bouchard's open, the shots, and that scores. Put it right off the back. Nice dry side of Bouchard, tees one up, scores! It's like, it's so satisfying. If there is any oiler, like, I, I, I'm curious to see how he'd do in, like, the accuracy shooting, like, skills competition thing that they do. Because I wouldn't be surprised if he was right up there with Connor. Like, honestly, he's his shot's heavier than Connor, and I swear it's just as accurate. So, it's awesome. If you're a Boosh fan, definitely leave a like. That, that was so sweet, Edmonton. You did not disappoint me. I was so happy to be partying on the streets last night. It was a lot of fun. So here's to hopefully many more nights like that down the road to come. Uh, we made it to the second round. Sorry, this video was kind of rambling. I, I had a lot to talk about. And I'm sorry, like I said, I was sick this last week. It was not fun. So 
um, it makes it tough, you know, when I'm, uh, I can't do anything, I can't talk, I don't want to embarrass myself, um, and I'm kind of sounding sick right now, so, or, well, a little bit hungover too, but, uh, so yeah, that's all there is for this video, guys, if you're an Oilers fan, hockey fan, whatever, feel free to leave a like, um, the Oilers did it, they made, made it to the next round, and, uh, I'm pretty proud, pretty happy, and I honestly was kind of scared, I, I thought that they were going to lose this series at two points, two points, I was like, nope, LA wants this more, but no, we persevered, we freaking fought back, and we did it, baby, so let's go, if you're new to the channel, I already said this, leave a like, I'll see you in the next one, don't be average when you can be above average, peace!